Hello beautiful people and welcome to episode 4. So yeah, because the weather at the moment is it is cloudy and it's snowing a little bit, which is great for later on, but right now it means that it's cold, it's wet, and it's not really the best kind of environment to be going out and about in. So I'm going to be in the hotel for a little bit more, so I thought I'd take this time to have a little chat with you, tell you how I feel. I decided to come to the resort this winter so that I could train as much as I possibly can in skiing. I've been skiing all my life and skiing since I was three, but I've decided that this year is the year I'm gonna get my shit together. What I'm gonna be doing is this season, I'm going to be doing as much skiing as possible so that I can, at the end of the season, if I qualify to be a part of it, join a company called UCPA and then become a French qualified ski instructor for next winter. So that, that's the plan for this winter, it's just to practice, 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 get as good as I possibly can. Also, I'll be doing my best to get fit. Throughout the whole year before coming here, I did also do a lot of exercise healthily, uh, lost quite a lot of weight, and so I'm in a much better shape than I was last season. So yeah, last season I spent my whole time here eating, drinking, going out. I wasn't skiing as much as, as I planned to. Yeah, this is what I looked like back then, and this is what I looked like just before coming this season. There's quite a, quite a big difference, almost almost 20 kilos difference between my before and after. But this is due to the coronavirus and me being in lockdown and being able to spend uh, all my time just at home doing nothing. So I, I thought I'd use my time wisely and uh, get fit. And I'm very thankful for it because I feel so much better in my life. I've got more confidence. I feel like I can achieve more, I've got more energy. Yeah, I mean, before doing all this, I wouldn't have even thought about talking in front of a camera about my life and all that because, well, I wasn't proud of it. I wasn't happy with what I was doing. Now I am. And I finally I finally found where I want to be and I found a goal and, I, and I'm driving towards it. And yeah, I feel just at peace, at ease and very, very happy. Actually, very happy. Yeah, my life has taken a complete U-turn since last Last year and I'm very grateful for it. I could talk you through what I did last year to get into such a bad state. It was, <laughs> it's quite simple. I'd wake up in the morning, have a massive English breakfast, eggs, bacon, sausages. I'd have a bowl of cereal with that. I'd have orange juice, coffee, everything. Just, you know, I'm telling myself, yeah, I've got a nice day of skiing. I've got to give myself as much fuel as I possibly can. But uh, in the end, that became very counterproductive because I'd end up going skiing at nine o'clock, stopping off at maybe 10, 11 for, you know, a snack, you know, got stopped for a coffee. They stopped off for a coffee, maybe have a croissant or something like that because I am in France and I have to eat the French food. Yeah, have a, a lovely croissant at 11 o'clock and then come 12, 1 o'clock, I'd be, oh yeah, I'm hungry, it's time for lunch. I'd have pizza, kebab, sandwiches, lots and lots of very high carb foods that I, I was considering to fuel my day but instead were just kind of making me very heavy, very slow, very unmotivated and just completely destroyed my energy. So yeah, I'd ski then throughout the afternoon until about 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock is time for tea and cakes. <laughs> Get home, have a piece of cake, have a bit of coffee and uh, maybe have another piece of cake if I'm still hungry and then wait until dinner time. And at dinner time, it started at seven o'clock, so only four till seven, that's a, a long time without eating. <laughs> and seven o'clock, it'd be a four course meal with starter, main, dessert and cheese. And obviously free wine and stuff like that. So you just drink and drink and drink. And uh, I was at least having two beers every single day, minimum. And that was days where we weren't going out. The days we were going out, I'd have two beers and then I'd have dinner and with another two beers and maybe uh, have some rum, some, some Coke, some Long Island iced teas, if anyone knows what that is. It's the one that has every single alcohol in it possible. Yeah, so I mean, no wonder I became kind of a bit podgy <laughs> after the end of the season. But funny enough, I didn't even realize it was happening. I didn't realize that I'd gotten that bad until I lost it all. Only once I'd lost the weight, I realized how big I was. I could see pictures from before and I just wouldn't, I wouldn't see myself as being big. But now looking back, I mean, look at my face in this picture here. This is not the same face that I have now. Not at all. And yet it's, it's the same, it's me. <laughs> it was me. And being like this really put me in an unhappy place. I was, I didn't have any confidence in myself and I kind of lacked any kind of motivation. Always felt like I was missing out if everyone else was going out and I wasn't. So I kind of forced myself to go out even if I didn't want to. In case of missing out, that's how much I lacked confidence back then. It's quite sad to be honest. And then to feel that right now I'm where I want to be. I figured things out. I've read a lot of books about, you know, finding your way and, and, and finding peace and all that. And But all that being said, I'm very happy with what I'm doing, what I'm creating and I can only get better. So thank you so much for following me along with these 
these journeys and these vlogs and yeah i'm so grateful for all your support and for your kind words that you've been saying to me for these videos <laughs> thank you so much for being here i mean it really makes it really makes me happy and i'm doing this for myself and yeah i feel really comfortable really good in my life right now so thank you so yeah, thank you very much for watching this uh, very different episode. I'll get back on to doing like proper vlogs with Day in the Life, probably taking you out, taking you to the mountains, skiing a little bit. But I thought it was important for you to know a bit more about who I am and why I'm here and what I'm doing. So yeah, thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed it, make sure to like it, uh, maybe even subscribe, share, tell me in the comments what you thought. Hope you're having an enjoyable evening and uh, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.